Most people strive for that green luscious lawn, but it becomes a little harder to get with the heat, not to mention parts of Central Texas have some water restrictions in, in place. So what can we do to keep our yard as healthy as possible? YNN's Bonnie Gonzalez is at a home in Northwest Austin. And what tips do you have for us now, Bonnie? Well, Che, we have got some great advice, especially when it comes to watering, right? Because we're still kind of dealing with this drought here. And take a look at this. We've got some cups here laying in the yard, and we're going to tell you what these are for, what this is all about. And uh, this has to do with irrigation and watering. And joining me is Jerry. You're the owner of the uh, Real Green Pest and Lawn Care. So thank you so much for joining us in your beautiful green lawn, of course. So uh, what are these for, Jerry? Well, you've got to know how much water that you're putting on your lawn to keep it as I do. Uh, one thing you'll hear on News 8 is what the evapotranspiration or ET is. And what that references is how much water actually evaporates off the soil surface and so how much we need to replace it by. Well, most people don't have a clue what their irrigation device puts out in a certain amount of time. Be it an in-ground sprinkler system, a hand watering device, or a whirly bird or whatever it is you're using, you can figure that out all the same way. And what you want to do is take four catch cups that have straight sides on them. They can be a coffee cup, they can be a tuna can or a cat food can, whatever it is you have, and place them out in the path of the irrigation zone. And then run that zone for 15 minutes. Okay, each one of these cups, there's four of them, represents 15 minutes. After you've run it, pour all four of them together, stick a ruler in it, and that's how long or how much your irrigation device puts out in an hour. And then by simple math, you can figure out how long you need to run it for, which is really, really critical because if you run it too short, your lawn's not going to get to enough water. If you run it too long, you'll end up with, an, with a disease problem like brown patch or something like that. So and really what we do in my company is we fix irrigation problems sometimes with chemicals. And believe it or not, and that's generally because if it's a brown patch or most disease problems, they're caused by too much water. Insect problems like chinch bug, they're caused by not enough water. If you see those little dead areas where the sidewalk and driveway come together and that's where they start to die, that's because those are two radiant heat sources coming together and they need just a little bit more water. And so if you don't get that water, it's going to start to die back and usually that's when chinch bug will set in. All right. Well, we definitely don't want chinch bugs or these other problems in our lawn. So a good tip there is uh, start rummaging through the cupboard, look for those cups and see how your watering is going in your lawn. Chie. Thank you, Bonnie. Now, Austin is currently in stage two water restrictions, which means you can only water one day a week. And uh, odd number addresses can water on Saturday, even number addresses on Sunday. Make sure to check with each city for water restrictions in your area.